Hi everybody, it's Dawn here and welcome to today's Psychic Challenge. This is your opportunity to have a little go at a short a psychic workout where you can test your psychic abilities, where you can flex your psychic muscles and hopefully have a little bit of fun in the meantime. So for today's activity, we're going traveling around the world and I've prepared five maps. I'm going to show you each map. I'm going to ask you to tune in, to hone in on the place on that map that I've identified. So without much further ado, let's have a go. So welcome to the challenge. We're in the world. I've got five maps that I have uh, pre-loaded and I'm going to ask you to tune in to see if you can identify the place on the map that I have pre-selected. I'll share each map and immediately following the map, I'll show you the pre-selected place. So take a moment to center your energy. Take a moment to focus on your breathing. Take some nice deep breaths in through your nose and just let them out through your mouth. Allow your scattered energies to come back into the center. Relax the tension in your muscles. Connecting psychically is best done when we are in this wonderful relaxed state. When our mind is a little bit switched off. When we're not thinking about how important it is to be right or wrong. Just let go of that. Remember this is fun. It's a psychic workout. Breathe deeply and just let go of thought. Enjoy the process. Enjoy just taking a couple of minutes out of your day to relax. So I'm going to share the first map with you. So I want you just to pay attention to the names on this map. See if you're drawn anywhere. Maybe you feel a pull in your body. Maybe one place name just jumps out at you. Identify it now. And now I'm going to share the correct answer with you. Hey Doc, this is my hometown of Liverpool. This is where I was born, it's where I was brought up. And I identified Hey Doc for this exercise. So how well did you do? Were you in the right area? Did you get the right place name? Okay, let's move on to the next map. Ooh, we're into Vancouver now, just across the pond to where I am on Vancouver Island. Where are you drawn to? What have I identified on this map? Maybe a little technique you can try is to close your eyes and then open them and see where you're gaze goes. Maybe you can see a colour and that helps you to hone in. So where have you identified and is it correct? I'm going to tell you now. Night Street. So that's what I pre-identified. I wonder how well you've, you've done. Are you two for two? I'm going to move on to the next map. Oh, we've come to London in the UK and in England. So have a little look at this map. See, see what's drawing you. 
or your eyes drifting to a certain portion of the map. If you're clairaudient, you might be hearing the place name. Maybe it's just a feeling that you're getting or a sense of knowing. And maybe it's a random guess. And maybe you're correct. So where did you identify? I'm going to tell you now. Haze. That's what I pre-selected. I wonder how well you're doing. Now moving on to the next map. Oh, we've traveled to Paris in France. So Paris and the surrounding areas. Have a look, have a look at the map and see where you're drawn to. See if you can pick up an energetic imprint of the place that I pre-selected. Remember, let go of any need to be correct. This is just fun. So let me share with you now. Virafle. I'm sure a French person will pronounce that differently. But that's the English Scouse version, Virafle. That's where I pre-selected. Did you get it right? And now to the final map. Ooh, we've gone to New York. We've gone to the US of A. Where in this map did I select? See if you can get a sense. See if you're drawn to a certain place. And this is the correct answer. Manhattan. That's where I pre-selected. Well, welcome back, everybody. I hope you had some fun doing that. I wonder how well you did. Did you manage to identify the location on each map? What process did you use to do that? Did you feel a pull towards a certain area? Was it a random guess? Did you see something in your mind's eye? Who knows, but I would love to find out. So if you can share in the comments below how well you did without revealing the answer on each of the maps and maybe the process that you use. So don't forget that I upload these short psychic challenge workouts um, twice a week. And also I post a video, a deeper dive on a topic that I'm passionate about. And if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about remote viewing, check out this video here. Ta-ta for now.